Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be filming what I got my toddler for Christmas video. So um, I'm trying to take advantage of nap time right now while Bowden is sleeping, <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet, but I'm going to try and get through this as fast as possible because I'm very nervous that he might wake up at any moment um, and come down here and see all this. And I feel like this is the first year that we're like officially, not officially doing Santa, but you know, like he believes in Santa and stuff. So I'm trying really hard this year to keep things super under wraps. So I am gonna go through everything quickly. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we have for Bowdoin, well actually let me start from the beginning. So me and Nate decided that we we're gonna do four gifts from Santa. We are gonna do the something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read from Santa every year. And then anything extra, outside of that will be for mom and dad. Um, there are a few reasons I wanna do it this way. Um, the main reason is because I don't want my kids thinking that there's no price limit and that you, know, you can just ask Santa for whatever you want and as long as you listen, you can get whatever you want. Um, and two, I also want them to understand the importance of hard work and money and how mom and dad do work hard to provide them with Christmas gifts every year. Not to sound selfish or anything, like I don't mean that in a selfish way, I just mean that I just want our kids to understand that, I don't know, like I don't want it to be A, all about the presents, but I just, I want them to respect the fact that we are working hard to get them gifts and it's not just all like a magical thing where they just ask for, you know, these outrageous gifts and Santa can bring them anything and there's just like, you know what I mean? You can ask for $100 worth of gifts or $1,000 worth of gifts. So I want to make sure that they understand the concept of money and how, like, you know, you just can't get everything. Like, I don't want it to become a spoiled thing. Um, and three, the reason I also want to do that is because um, I, I just don't want them to assume that Santa brings these lavish gifts because some kids, like, not saying we're super well off either, but... I feel like it's unfair for them to be like, oh yeah, Santa brought me an Xbox and then go to school and maybe someone who, like a child who is less fortunate is like, well, why did Santa only bring me socks? Like, I just, I don't know. I don't want it to become, I don't know. I don't really know how I'm just trying to describe this, but anyway, I just don't want it to be about the monetary value. Santa only brings four things and they're not very expensive things, and then mom and dad bring the rest. So I'm gonna go over the four things from Santa first. So half of these gifts are already wrapped because Nate started wrapping gifts yesterday, and I didn't realize it, um, and then half of them are unwrapped. So I will be able to show you like some things, but then the other stuff I'm just gonna tell you, and I'll have to insert pictures, um, and it's what it is. So the first thing is something you want, and I will show you. That is in this giant package here. I will insert a photo. It is the Paw Patrol fire truck. Like the, I forget what word it's called. It's like this ginormous, obviously, fire truck. Um, Marshall's fire truck. And Bowden has, has been asking for this fire truck and wanting this fire truck for months and months and months. Um, it's originally like 60 or $70, which is absolutely crazy to me. But um, in November, Target had a half off sale, like all Paw Patrol, uh, I can't even speak. Toys were half off, and then I also had the 25% off a toy coupon. So I got it for like 30 bucks, and I think that's reasonable. So that's his something he wants. Something he needs, which is kind of hard for a toddler, to be honest, because when he needs something, we just buy it, like snow pants or whatever. Um, so I just bought him a pair of shoes in the next size up. So not really exciting, but something he needs. Um, something to wear. I will insert a picture again, is this Marvel's Avengers superhero sweatshirt that I ordered from Target.com. He's super into superheroes now. Um, it was supposed to, or it is supposed to arrive today, but it's getting late and I wanted to get this video done, so I can't wait for it anymore, but that's his something to wear. And then something to read, I got this Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes book. He, they read this in preschool and he like keeps talking about it. Apparently it's a really good book, never read it, but that's something to read. So those are the four Santa gifts. And then the rest 
is stuff that we got him. Um, <laughs> it kind of got a little out of hand this year. It always seems to get out of hand, but I feel like I had like five or six things on my list that I wanted to get him. And then Nate just like goes to the store and buys him stuff. So it's gotten a little crazy, but anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I got is this Spark Imagine sink. This was so popular last Christmas. It was like sold out literally everywhere and people were up charging. It was crazy. Um, but the reason I got this is because a, like it works. It has like running water in it and then they can sit and wash the dishes and it has like a little drying rack right here. Freaking precious. So cute. It was from Walmart for like 14 or $15, I think. Okay. Sorry. I just had to double check that he's still sleeping. It was like $15. And the reason I got this is because Bowden is obsessed with washing the dishes with me. I don't know why he loves washing the dishes in the sink, washing the dishes. I mean, like he just fills up the cups and dumps them out or like, you know, scrubs around with a little sponge, but um, he really loves washing the dishes right now. So I think he's really going to like this gift and it's going to be super helpful for the winter time. And after this baby comes, I think it will be a nice inside toy to kind of distract him and keep him busy for a little bit. So I'm really, really excited to give him this one. Um, what else? So I'm going to go over just like the unwrapped ones just because they're easier for me to see. So I got him some books. I got him this fire truck book. It's really cool because it has like real wheels that move. So that book, ABC Cookie Monster book. He loves Cookie Monster. A book about planes. This is a US born book. I don't know how to say that word. I'm really sorry. I probably just butcher that. But it has like the flaps in it, which he loves these type of books. I just hit myself on the face. Hello. Um, a busy, big busy book about trucks and other things that go. My son is obsessed with trucks, tractors, construction vehicles, planes, trains, automobiles, all of it, girl. And then also things that go. Again, just like everything he's obsessed with. So those are the books I got him. And then... The next super exciting thing that I'm really, really pumped about are superhero action figures. Because again, like I said, my son is super into superheroes now. Like over the past few weeks, he's been really into it. So we got Captain America. We got Iron Man. We got Hulk. We got, who's this? Black Panther, I think. I don't really know. Um, Batman. Spider-Man, who is doing the splits right now, hello, and Thor, but his hammer, like, just falls down, so that's sad. I'll try and fix that, but I got these actually secondhand off of Facebook Marketplace, um, which, I don't know, I don't know if that's going to be, like, a, if that's weird, but my son does not care. He is three years old. Um, these are in like really, really great condition and these are like $10 a piece at the store and I got this bundle of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for $25 for seven of them and they're in perfect condition. So I am not above like buying secondhand things. I think it's great um, and I think there's nothing wrong with it. Um, these books actually were all secondhand besides the Pete the Cat one. So again, I don't know. If you're looking to save money for um, Christmas or like ways to cut costs for gifts, I totally recommend buying secondhand toys for your kids. Um, I personally, before Christmas, just like two weeks ago, go through his toy stash and sell secondhand toys, or I sell my toys, or <laughs> I sell his toys that uh, he's outgrown or he doesn't play with anymore. Um, so I see nothing wrong with buying your kids some secondhand toys that are in great condition. I think it saves money and also there's just no point in spending full price if you, you know what I mean? Like it's just wasteful. I'd, I'd rather just buy uh, secondhand things. So it's this one I want to say. Um, it's the Melissa and Doug ice cream set. It comes with some ice cream scoopers and little cones and like make the ice cream like is magnetic so you can stack it on top. Um, he actually has that at school and really likes it and also my son is obsessed with ice cream <laughs> which 
which toddler is not obsessed with ice cream. So I think he's gonna love that gift so much. Um, and then also, so this thing, I believe is an Avengers sticker book. It's like a reusable sticker book. Again, freaking huge. I will include pictures here um, that Nate picked him up, which again, he's super into superheroes and he also really likes stickers. He has the reusable Melissa and Doug sticker pad, so I think he's really gonna like that. Um, got some Paw Patrol puzzles, which again, really into puzzles and they're a bit more difficult. A lot of the puzzles that we have are like toddler puzzles. Um, that are pretty simple that he has mastered. He is really good at puzzles and he's really into like the fine motor skill type things like that, like the shape sorters. So um, that's a good one because it's a little more advanced so he can have some more complex puzzles to grow with. Um, these are coloring books, which are always good. We're always going through coloring books. So can never have enough of those. And then the last thing is this, which is an RC car. It is like a, a dump truck, I guess. You know, the remote control little cars. Um, and Nate picked that one out as well. Again, Bowden loves trucks and cars and anything that goes. He seriously has a million trucks already in the playroom. So, you know, why not add another one? But he doesn't have um, any remote control cars. And again, he's getting to that age where he's starting to be able to play with more complex toys versus just like a Hot Wheels car. Um, the remote control car, he can, you know, learn how to steer it and push the buttons and stuff. That'll be super fun. Um, so this is all we're getting him, which I think is plenty. Um, this is what we are getting him. Now, mind you, my sister gets him stuff. Uh, my brother-in-law gets him stuff. My in-laws get him things. My parents get him things. Um, my, my stepsister gets him stuff. So he still is gonna get plenty of things. Um, so we try and keep it as minimal as possible. I mean, at this point, we've already gotten him like 10 to 15 items. So that will be pretty much it. Um, I did wanna do a stocking stuffer video, but I don't think I'm going to only because we are going very minimal on stockings this year. I'm not purchasing candy for him. Um, or anybody in our house for that matter because again my parents and my in-laws both get us all stockings um, With a lot of candy in it already, which is great But me buying candy on top of it like we're never gonna eat all of it. So um, No candy. I'll probably just put in like a few snacks and then I'm thinking of doing some bath bombs because he's really into those and Maybe like one of those small Lego sets that are like, you know, the tiny little box that comes with like a car and one character. Maybe some quarters for his piggy bank because he's three and he's really into quarters and like putting the little ones on his piggy bank one by one. Um, and I don't know, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really want to buy a bunch of knickknacks just to fill his stocking. So I'll probably mostly do like snacks, maybe one or two treats like lollipops because he really likes lollipops. But yeah. That's about it. So that concludes what I got my toddler for Christmas for Christmas 2019. I hope I gave you guys some ideas. If you are a mom of a toddler boy or you need to shop for a toddler boy. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye. So it is 2019, right? And how old are you? How old are you? Do you know how old you are? Yeah. How old? Are you one? Yes. No. How old yeah. are you? I'm not. How old are you? Ah. No. We have to tell Santa how old you are. How old are you? Three. Three. And what do you want for Christmas this year? Um, a monster truck. A monster truck? Yeah, the monster truck. Ooh. What else? I would like to paint. You'd like to paint a monster truck? Yeah. Oh. What else would you like for Christmas? Um, uh, I just blue ones the yellow ones the red ones the blue ones. Oh. Really? I'll get. You like all the monster trucks? Yeah. Okay. What else do you want for Christmas? Ah. Uh, Let's tell Santa. Captain America. Captain America? Yeah. And Hulk. And Hulk? 
a Mario Hulk shirt. You want a Hulk shirt? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else or is that it? That's it. That's it. Have you been naughty or nice this year? I'm grumpy. Grumpy? Yeah. You've been grumpy? No, I'm happy. You're happy? Yeah. Are you on the nice list or the naughty list? And the nicest. The nicest. The nicest. <laughs>